Lord, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Return to God with all your heart, the source of grace and mercy. Come seek the tender faithfulness of God. Return to God with all your heart, the source of grace and mercy. Come seek the tender faithfulness of God. Now the time of grace has come, the day of salvation. Come and turn now the way of our God. Return to God with all your heart, the source of grace and mercy. Come seek the tender faithfulness of God. Return to God with all your heart, the source of grace and mercy. Come seek the tender faithfulness of God. The Lord says, Turn away from sin and open your hearts to the gospel. Praise, O servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. May the name of the Lord be blessed, both now and forevermore. From the rising of the sun to its setting, praised be the name of the Lord. High above all nations is the Lord, above the heavens his glory. Who is like the Lord, our God, who has risen on high to his throne, yet stoops from the heights to look down? to look down upon heaven and earth. From the dust he lifts up the lowly, from his misery he raises the poor, to set him in the company of princes, yes, with the princes of his people. To the childless wife he gives a home and gladdens her heart with children. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. The Lord says, Turn away from sin and open your hearts to the gospel. I will offer a sacrifice of praise and call upon the name of the Lord. I trusted even when I said, I am sorely afflicted. And when I said in my alarm, no man can be trusted. How can I repay the Lord for his goodness to me? The cup of salvation I will raise. I will call on the Lord's name. My vows to the Lord I will fulfill before all his people. O oh, precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful. Your servant, Lord, your servant am I. You have loosened my bonds. A thanksgiving sacrifice I make. I will call on the Lord's name. My vows to the Lord I will fulfill before all his people, in the courts of the house of the Lord, in your midst, O Jerusalem. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I will offer a sacrifice of praise and, and call upon, upon the name of the Lord. Lord. No one takes my life away from me. I lay it down freely, and I shall take it up again. Though he was in the form of God, Jesus did not deem equality with God something to be grasped at. Rather, he emptied himself and took the form of a slave, being born in the likeness of men. He was known to be of human estate, and it was thus that he humbled himself, obediently accepting even death, 
death on a cross. Because of this, God highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name above every other name. So that at Jesus' name, every knee must bend in the heavens, on the earth, and under the earth, and every tongue proclaim to the glory of God the Father. Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ is Lord. Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. No one takes my life away from me. I, I lay, lay it down, down freely, and, and I, I shall take, take it up again. again. We beg you not to receive the grace of God in vain, for he says, In an acceptable time I have heard you. On a day of salvation I have helped you. Now is the acceptable time. Now is the day of salvation. We avoid giving anyone offense, so that our ministry may not be blamed. On the contrary, in all that we do, we strive to present ourselves as ministers of God. Listen to us, O Lord, and have mercy, for we have sinned against you. Listen to us, O Lord, and have mercy, for we have sinned against you. Christ Jesus, hear our humble petitions, for we have sinned against you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Listen to us, O Lord, and have mercy. For we have sinned against you. Now that we have been justified by faith, let us be at peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour, for he has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in the conceit. He has cast on the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the Lord. filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to 
to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Now that we have been justified by faith, let us be at peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Let us give glory to Christ the Lord, who became our teacher and example, and our brother. Let us pray to him, saying, Lord, fill your people with your life. Lord Jesus, You became like us in all things but sin. Teach us how to share with others their joy and sorrow, that our love may grow deeper every day. Lord, fill your people with your life. Help us to feed you in feeding the hungry, and to give you drink in giving drink to the thirsty. Lord, fill your people with your life. You raised Lazarus from the sleep of death. Grant that those who have died the death of sin may rise again through faith and repentance. Lord, fill your people with your life. Inspire many to follow you with greater zeal and perfection through the example of the Blessed Virgin Mary and the saints. Let the dead rise in your glory to enjoy your love forever. Lord, fill your people with your life. Our Father, who Who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. Father, you have taught us to overcome our sins by prayer, fasting, and works of mercy. When we are discouraged by our weakness, give us confidence in your love. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.